Hello, my name is Heather and I'm an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I'm going to show you how to create a collaged masterboard. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos and let's get right to it. So the first thing you're going to do is just start gluing down all different types of papers. You can use cardstock, um, any kind of scrap paper, tissue paper, fabric, anything. find the best master boards that I make are the ones when I'm not thinking too much and I'm just going and creating. You can definitely overthink it I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm using a little ledger paper and sheet music. So I do mine in a process. I lay all my papers out and then um, get my paper completely covered and then I put my focal points down. And what can you do with a master board? There are so many things that you can do. You can cut it up and use it for tags or journaling cards or postcards. Um, you can literally fold it in half and make a journal out of it. Um, lots of things you can do with the master board. And they're neat because they're very interesting and it's something that you created. And now I'm putting down my focal points. I'm putting down some uh, butterflies and a bird. I'm using art glitter glue to glue this down. And now I'm laying down some fabric in a few places and I'm using Fabri-Tac to glue that down.
and I'm going to start another one doing exactly the same thing. Just laying down random pieces of paper, uh, tissue paper, napkins, whatever you have. It's really amazing that all of these scraps can create such a beautiful piece of art. And there really isn't any specific way to do this. It's your master board. It can be anything that you want it to be. Um, you put the papers on there any which way you want to. There are no like specific rules on how to do it. Just what feels good to you, that's what you should do. I'm just putting down this pretty pink doily. It's a paper doily. And this is tissue paper from Tim Holtz. I love the flowers, they're so pretty. And there's so many different things that you can use on a master board. You can use stamps and um, fabric and um, what else? There's so many things. And now I'm putting my focal points down. I have this cool little bird. And then I also put down some butterflies that are stickers. If you are saving up like a big old pile of scraps and you're afraid to go after this, don't be afraid. You can't mess it up. You just create whatever is inside you. And if you don't like it, just keep adding to it until you do like it or just start over. But don't be afraid to go after the collage because you feel like there's so many rules to it. 
Just do what feels good to you and you will surprise yourself. This is a scotch glue stick that I'm using by the way. They work really, really well. And I believe I got these butterfly stickers on Amazon, which I love. They're really pretty. And now I am laying some fabric down and I'm just doing using some Fabri-Tac glue to put these little fabric pieces down. Well, I hope this gives you some ideas for your master boards and that you found this video to be helpful. They really are easy and a lot of fun. And here are the two master boards that I just created. And I am going to cut these up and make something special with them. I hope this video was helpful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.